Welcome back for the last time. Although we are, all know that self-praise is no recommendation, already tonight we've seen some of the year's work that we're all actually quite proud of. But our gun editor, Sarah Portelli, has whacked together a few more. Uh, I haven't seen this yet, but I've been warned to brace myself. This is 6pm with George Negus. G'day, welcome to the very first 6pm. Well, I've uh, seen the billboards and whatever else, they're certainly big. But the real point is I'm thrilled to be part of what is a genuinely different way of looking at things that matter, both here in Australia and the rest of the world. When those enormous waves first crashed onto Japan's coastline, they were talking about hundreds of thousands of deaths. But they were trying still to recover bodies and now that uh, has been stopped. We're about 80 kilometres from Kenya's border with Somalia and this is Dadaab. It is the world's largest refugee camp. Hardened suburbs like Tottenham will rebuild, but it's community trust that will be much more difficult to resurrect. She says they're great mates. He says she is just terrific. Today, for the first time, Barack Obama had Julia Gillard over to his place. Thank you very much for the warmth of your welcome. Okay, are you ready? All good. Oh. Whoa. In almost every room, cannabis. Police Given the huge investment in setting up a house like this, they've hit this syndicate before they've even made their first profit. More than 120 million years ago, dinosaurs roamed up and down the coast, leaving behind footprints. I'm at home and I love at home. For them coming home to their country is everything. This flotilla of adrenaline junkies is waging a war against some of the nation's most picturesque but damaging weeds. Even if just one small green shoot breaks off and survives, the tree can regenerate. They were due on board a ship bound for Indonesia. But things are, no one's quite sure what will happen to them. It's described as the most dangerous eight seconds in any sport. It turns them into a human rug here. If I were to jump in there with them, they would probably charge me. Very glad then that there's a fence between us. These are the Auburn Tigers from Sydney's multicultural heart. Has anybody here got one of those stupid names like Kevin or Patrick or Mark? Yeah, we've <laughs> This is the story, never before told on TV, of an Australian mountaineering legend. I think that we just had this need to push ourselves to the absolute limit. We, I don't know, it was just like, what is the limit of human endurance? What may have been the worst weekend in the history of Norway is over. It was just like going around killing people like it was no deal. If Brevik wanted to divide this nation, then here, you can see he has clearly failed. We're on the highway heading west of Adarbia with the rebel forces. It seems they're meeting very little resistance now, but there are big battles ahead. Can I ask which of you would be prepared to become martyrs, suicide bombers? Allah Allah This is the first time Alison's really seen Ground Zero since then. It's obviously caught this block on fire and come up. Yeah, the toilet roll is still hanging there. <laughs> the water level is dropping, but only very slowly, around a centimetre a day. Oh, are you doing 60? The road's a bit wet. We don't want to disturb it too much. <laughs> You're very, very welcome. Thank you. Thank you. If anyone who would doubt the success of our multicultural Australia, just show them the Deep's family. You got that. You're that big thing. I think Hollywood, I think. There's no, no stopping. Just keep going forward. Just keep going forward. 
Molly Taylor is reaching for the stars. She's won a place in the World Rally Championship's elite group of up-and-coming drivers. Just how alike are you two? Well, I actually think Molly's me come back to haunt me. Get up. <laughs> I wonder when it... I wonder when... <laughs> This one you thought you were dealing with mature people. How wrong can you be? <laughs> so to speak. And as a journalist, I admit to uh, one bite blatant bias. I don't know what's going on. Now, now it won't come out anyway. <laughs> I don't know how they do it. Tcha. Tcha. No problem. No problem. <laughs> don't like it. Um, and I can't remember what the question was. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think a button might have popped. I've lost a button. Has anybody got some sticky? Some sticky. Well, whatever happens in the rest of her prime ministership, whether it's long or short, whether it's momentous or a bit of a muddle. That, that's only recent that it's happened. A bit of sticky would do. How is it? This is pretty bad. We have it's just a sticky tape. I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh, not to it. This has happened. You drove it so far without a scratch, and then you met us. And then you guys come along. Yeah. Is this because the cotton's still there? <laughs> Your excuse. Yeah, you watch this. I've, I've done this sort of shit so bloody often. <laughs> if I pull it out of there. <laughs> as the actress, as the actress says, <laughs> are the rebels definitely in control now? <laughs> <laughs> Why don't we just put the uh, flight call to air? <laughs> yep, so the celebrations are understandable. The, ju the jubilee. Right. Answering the first question. Oh, the bu a button's popped. Anyway, you can have a go. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. <laughs> See, I can, I can cover, cover with the polar anyway. Coming up at 6 p.m. Just a buttonhole. <laughs> there you go. 200 nights later, that's us. A wild and wonderful ride while it lasted. But I think we proved our point. There is an audience out there who want to be told not just what's happening in this country and the world, but why. Unfortunately, not enough of you buggers watched us off enough. It's your fault. Just joking. What I really want to say is uh, that no one does television on their own. And so mountains of thanks and praise to all my talented and tireless colleagues, both on and off camera, who made 6.30 such a quality program. We broke new ground, guys. Proud of you. Oh, and uh, I'll see you on Monday at 6.30 back on the desk of the new hour-long project. Have a terrific weekend. <laughs>